Amanda Houston, and I'm the Executive Director for the Arts Council, and we're very pleased uh, about the results that have happened with our Art in the Park this year, and we're excited about all the people that have come out so far to uh, see the event, and uh, the artists who are here are just top-notch. This is our 13th annual event, so we're pretty excited. We have about 28 artists and five food vendors. We also have five musicians playing, and we have a kids area filled with uh, face painters, some children's activities including clay working, um, some painting on the garbage cans that are going to be displayed around the city, as well as we will have an inflatable jumpy host donated by Crasshopper Inflatable. So we had a really good turnout this year. Hi, I'm Rose Sundaram and um, welcome to Art in the Park. It's a great privilege to be here and I'm an artist who has been painting quite seriously the last four years in pastel. It's my preferred medium and um, I do all types of subjects, um, landscapes, people, whatever, and I do also take commission pieces. And uh, this is uh, one that I just finished for the show. It's uh, one of the bush planes uh, landing in the water. And uh, this one here, they're dropping water. And it's a combination of various types of pastel, including the new pan pastel and uh, pastel pencil and um, soft pastel. Hi, I'm Linda and I'm here at Art in the Park today selling scrumptious goodies. We have coffee from St. Joseph's Island, honey, again, um, all from the farm, fudges, jams and jellies to die for. The volunteer help has been just tremendous for us. People uh, coming to sit and help on displays supporting and promoting the Arts Council and our events like Out for the Rainbow Children's Entertainment and our New Horizons program. So we're excited to have them here to uh, help us with this event. 